In this video we'll be demonstrating the Count Lab NCS 3600 mix note counter. So this is a CIS machine meaning that it has an image sensor in it which actually scans the note as it goes through the machine um, and determines its value by it. So you can use this machine as mix and uh, mix notes. It doesn't have to be a single denomination. Uh, we do machines lower than this where you can count um, but only in single denominations but also have the value and the NCS 4000 is a higher spec machine which is actually a sorter and has orientation. Uh, this machine as standard does not have a printer but you can actually have a remote uh, or external printer attached to this uh, but it does come with the uh, customer display which shows the uh, number and the value. So in this demonstration I'm using all polymer notes including the new 50 um, as this machine is the 2022 model um, but it also does count all the cotton bank notes as well. So at the moment we've got it in GBP and mix mode so using it couldn't be simpler you simply place your notes in the top of the hopper it will count and as you can see we've got a full mix of notes 50s, 20s, 10s and 5s in here uh, and as you see here and on the display we've got 64 pieces and the value of those notes is 885 as shown here. Um, we can then have the ability here to be able to press report and it will give us a breakdown of how many fives, how many tens, how many twenties and how many fifties we've counted, how many errors um, or rejects and if we press report again this here is the note or the first note that has gone through the machine so in this case this was the 50 pound note and here you can see that 422 on the end of it matches the serial number and if we had the printer attached we could now use the print button to print both this information and the previous information. Uh, if you watch our NCS 4000 video it, that has the integrated printer and it will actually show you the, the print out on it. So once we've, once we've done that, as I said, this is a mix mode here that you can see. The next mode that we have is a count mode. So this is just basically a free count mode. So it ignores the values and um, the notes going through it. And as you can see, you can just count the pieces. So here we've counted the 63 notes because I've left out the 50 pound note. Um, and that will, that's ideal if you just want to check a batch or something like that. The next mode that it has here is sort mode. So what this mode does, um, and again, I'll change the notes so that a little bit is, if we've got a mix of notes here for argument's sake, um, and there happens to be some uh, non-value notes, what this mode does is it looks at the first note that's going through the machine and then will stop on any note that isn't that note that's been counted. So here you can see it says difference and as you can see here is the five pound note. Different again. Different again. So in this case, all it's done is counted the £20 notes only and has rejected any other note that isn't that note. So that then takes us back to the original mode, which is the mix. So you can count this in piece mode, you can have it in uh, sort mode where it counts the first note and rejects everything else, or you can also have it in the free count. You've also got different currencies on the machine as well. So simply by pressing the currency button, you can see you've got all those options in US dollars and all of those as well in euros. So this machine is a CIS value counter that will count euros, US dollars, and sterling, uh, Bank of England sterling, um, with all those three modes. It also has all the detection systems built into it, so MG, IR, and UV, uh, but most importantly, it's a CIS detector, meaning it uses the image of the note to look and check the note rather than just size. Thank you for watching our video, and if you've got any questions, please give us a call or watch our other videos, as we mentioned before, there's a higher model than this called the NCS 4000, or we also do lower models, which are also value counters, but a single note, so therefore you have to have a single determinate denomination going through the machine. Thank you for watching this video.